Shopify versus WordPress. Hi guys, welcome back to Eminent website. And in this video, we're going to be comparing Shopify against WordPress. And we're going to be determining which one is better by going over all of their features and tools that these both websites provide. But before I begin with the video, I would like to say that if you want to join Shopify, please check out the link in the description. And if you click on it, you will be able to sign up onto Shopify and get a free 14 day trial without having to pay any fees whatsoever. So having said that, let's move on with the video. So first I'm going to go over Shopify and then I'm going to go over WordPress. So first things first, what I want you guys to do is come over to Shopify and just simply sign up. Now, once you sign up, now the sign up process is really, really easy. Uh, I've already signed up. It's pretty easy. It takes a couple of seconds. Like all you have to do is enter in your email and boom, you've done it. And then this is how your website is going to look like. You will have to name your store. I've named it warehouse OB warehouse. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. So this is going to be your dashboard over here. And as you can see, we have three options in front of us. First one is called add products over here. You will be able to add products and then you have customized themes. And over here, you will be able to customize your website and customize your theme. And then down below you have the third option, which is called add domains. And what that basically means is that you will be able to add a domain but you don't have to worry about it because Shopify provides their own domain. But if you have your own domain, I think that is better because it makes you look more professional and it also helps to customers and other people to find your online store. And then over here on the left side, we have a couple of different options. So we have orders and in orders, we'll be able to manage different orders and you will be able to keep track of payments and we'll be able to keep track of draft orders. And then we'll also be able to keep a track of abandoned carts. And then down below, we have products over here. We'll be able to keep track of different products that we add onto our store and how we can, you know, deal with them. And we can keep track of our inventory, our transfer, collection, and gift cards. And then down below, we have customers. Over here, we'll be able to manage our customers and all their information. Then you have analytics. And over here, you'll be able to manage all of your store's reports, such as your total sales, online store sessions, returning customers, online store conversion rate, and stuff like that. And over here and then down below you have marketing and over here you'll be able to basically, you know, promote your shop onto different platforms by creating a campaign. And over here, this is a campaign that I created earlier. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Uh, I created a campaign to run on Snapchat and Facebook and over here. And this is how it basically looks like. So over here, you will have your product on Snapchat and over here, you have your product on Facebook. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. And another great thing about it is that it can, you know, you can make the campaign run as long as you want. You can run it for a day or a week or a month or a year. It all depends on you. And then down below, you have apps. Now, this is one of the most important part of Shopify. So over here you have apps and these apps are going to help you to, you know, take your Shopify game to the next level. So you have all these apps and they all do amazing things. And the one that I love the most is called Obrello. And this app is truly a game changer. Other websites have an app similar to it, but this one I feel like is one of the, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can basically, you know, add applications, how you can basically, you know, add products. So if you come over here and click on add product, so in over here, it'll take us over to this window over here and over here, you will basically add all your products manually. So you will have to enter in the title, the description, and then upload a video or images of your products. Then you have to set your pricing according to, you know, according to the product. And you will also have to enter in the cost per item. And then you have inventory, then you have shipping, like all these information you have to enter to, you know, add your product over onto Shopify and then you can sell it. But another method is using Obrello. Now, for those of you who don't know, Obrello is a sourcing apps used for Shopify. And what you basically have to do is just simply install that app by clicking on the apps over here. And once you do that, all you have to do is just simply sign up to Obrello. And once you've done everything, just simply open up the Obrello application. And it, this is how it will look like. And over here on the left side, you have some different options. You have import list, you have products, you have orders, you have notifications, and you have find products. So if you click on find products, 
over here it is going to take us over to aliexpress and over here we will basically you know find different products that are according to our needs so let's just for example let's just take this item or for example like all you to add this item all you have to do is just hover your mouse over it and then just simply click on add to import list and when you do that the product is going to turn green and it that basically means that it has been imported into our list so to view this product come over here on the left side and click on import list and over here you will see the product as it is so you can go ahead and change the name of the product so that it's more unique and then over here you have different variants of the product as well like you can change different variants or you can sell specific variants if you want and then you have pricing you can you know change the pricing as well and then you have description and then you have images now you can even change the images so that it looks different than one from the aliexpress and looks more unique and once you have done everything and everything is to your liking just simply click on import to store button over here at the top right corner and once you click on it wait a couple of seconds and the product is going to be imported over to shopify and it will tell you that the operation was success so wait a couple of seconds so as you can see it's turned green meaning that the the transfer was successful now let's go over to shopify and click on product and over here you will see that the product is arrived and that is basically it now if you didn't want to change the details over here or you simply forgot you can go ahead and change the details on shopify just simply click on it and over here you'll be able to you know change all of the things that you want you can even change the description the name the images the versions that you want to sell specifically and it also has an seo engine listing preview so what that basically means is that if anyone searches for this product on google your product is going to be promoted by shopify and obrello and so that people and it's going to push it to the top so that people can click on it and buy it from you directly so that is pretty amazing in my opinion so that is how you basically use shopify uh, and it's pretty easy and i said it before and i'll sell it and i'll say it again like if you want to sign up if you want to use shopify click on the link in the description and you'll be able to sign up onto shopify for free and you'll also get a free trial as well so now having said that let's go ahead and check out its competitor wordpress now wordpress is a pretty amazing website and it is very simple and easy website building tool and we can even turn it into a shop as well so to get started all you have to do is just simply click on get started over here at the top right corner and once you do that you will have basically two options to sign up you can either sign up with google which i think which i recommend because it is easier and it's it saves quite a lot of time or you can just enter in all of the information manually so i'm gonna go ahead and continue with google and over here what you can do is you can you know search for a domain now over here you can get a free one year domain registration with any paid annual plan or you can all or you can use your own domain if you have one if you already have one simply click on use a domain i own and you'll be able to you know use your own domain and over here you can see that you have two recommended so you have so you have the one recommended domain and then you have the best alternative now you can go ahead and select that but you will have to pay a yearly fee but currently it is free for one year but you have to you know get a subscription on wordpress but for the sake of this video i'm just gonna go ahead and choose the free version over here and select this domain and over here you will basically have to you know get a subscription on wordpress choose whichever plan you want read all of the pros and cons carefully and decide which plan suits you best so i'm gonna go ahead and select this plan for now and right here over here as you can see it's building our website and applying different designs give it a couple of seconds and we're going to move on to checkout over here you will have to enter in your billing details and once you've done it this is how your website is going to look like this is your dashboard over here and over here you have to give your site a name and stuff like that and over here on the right side you have the setup list so you have to give your site a name update your home page customize your site confirm your email get the wordpress app and launch your site to the world and then down below you have other options you have edit home page you have add a page write a blog edit menus customize theme change theme add a domain wp admin dashboard create a logo with fiverr or create a podcast with anchor and many many more so this is how it is and over here on the right side 
you have my home you have statistics of your website and then you have inbox you have posts you have media pages comments like all of these options that are really really helpful to you know create your site and then down below you have jetpacks appearances plugins and users and stuff like that so to visit your site just simply click on this option right here and it'll take you over to your website and over here this is how it looks like like this is pretty simple this is the one that they gave us now we can change a theme by coming on over here on appearance and clicking on themes and we can change different themes but the main thing that i want to show you guys is the plugins now these this is very important now over here we have different plugins that we can install onto our website so that we can turn it into a proper online store so we have woocommerce and other applications just like that but you'd remember that you have to upgrade to business plan to install certain plugins as well so keep that in mind so these are some of the popular ones over here and these are some of the new ones and these are some of the featured ones so let's go ahead and take a look at the popular ones over here maybe we can find something so we have elementor that is a website builder we have woocommerce that is automatic uh, we have the all-in-one seos we have sidekit by google let's search for obrello if we can find obrello over here so we couldn't find obrello let's search for spocket so i couldn't find a free app that we could use to you know source our products from other websites but i think that if we do decide to you know go ahead and buy a business plan that we can go ahead and install woocommerce over here which will help us to you know get more products so that is why i couldn't find some more products because i have to you know buy the premium plan i'm still using the free plan so maybe that's why i couldn't find that over here but moving on let me just show you more about this website so if we come over here and on appearance and we click on themes we will be able to see all the themes that are available onto this website or uh, that we can use for our online shopping store so whichever one you choose is pretty simple it's really easy all you have to do is just simply select the theme and once you've selected the theme all you have to do is just look at it and see if you like it if you do then just simply click on activate this design and over here just simply choose it and just simply click on activate the design and it will activate the theme for you just wait a couple of seconds and then your website will be changed and your theme will be applied so if we click on view the site so as you can see this is the website right here and it looks pretty cool it's pretty easy and uh, we can change this uh, website by clicking on this button over here edit home page so if we click on that button we'll easily be able to you know edit the home page we can add permalinks we can add featured images experts and stuff like that like if i ch click on a box right here we can you know change the image by clicking on this button called replace and we can do quite a lot of things like the editor is really simple it's really easy to use so i guess that is it guys that is all the things that you needed to know about wordpress like i showed you how you can you know get started how you can you know choose different plans how you can choose different themes for your website and how you can add different uh, applications onto your website to make it more tech savvy and easy to use but the only drawbacks of wordpress is that you have to pay a subscription fee and that it doesn't have quite a lot of options that is why i use shopify it is much much better it is easier to use it is free at that and all of the applications are available on shopify are really really helpful as i showed you obrello is so easy to use uh wordpress doesn't have any other app like that i'm afraid so that is why i personally find that shopify is usually better so what are you guys waiting for just simply go ahead and click on the link in the description and sign up onto shopify and enjoy your free trial and all the bonuses that come with it so having said that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye